Hi, everyone, and welcome to another Latinx Scholar Chat, where we have the opportunity to talk to one of our Latinos in Technology scholars. Today, I'm talking with Brian Carraza. Welcome, Brian, and thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Ron. So, Brian, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, it, uh, it's a lot to summarize in a little bit, but I'll do, I'll do my best. No problem. Go for it. So I'm a little bit older than uh, your average scholar. In my 20s, I, I did a lot of jobs and I jumped around from job to job. Um, at, at 33, I decided to uh, come back to school, I enrolled in community college, and I pursued my mechanical engineering degree. Um, during my community college days, I had to decide whether I was going to continue to go to school and, and be homeless or put my academic progress on hold. Uh, so that I could work enough to be able to pay rent. And I decided to continue my education. And so that meant I had to be homeless. Um, and as I uh, tra transferred to San Jose State, I was also homeless. Um, in that time period, I learned about the Latinos in Technology Scholarship and the Hispanic Foundation, and I applied and I was awarded the scholarship. Um, while it wasn't enough money for me to afford a place to live, I was able to prepare for living in an apartment after, after two years. So uh, today I'm grateful to be employed by Applied Materials as a product line manager, and uh, I'm a proud uh, graduate from San Jose State as a mechanical engineer. All right. Well, Spartan up, as they say. Uh, yeah. well, thank you for sharing that, Brian. Now, what is it you would like to achieve in your career now that you're out in the job market? Well, I'm most passionate when I'm able to be an agent of change. Uh, I really like enjoying improving processes um, or creating them where they're missing. Uh, while my initial direction was mechanical engineering, um, I've found that I really enjoy data science and, and coding. Uh, I'll be seeking a graduate degree in that new direction. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. You know, what we're learning more about our scholars is that more and more of them are pursuing graduate degrees, and that's great. Well, thank you. Um, so, Ron, I have a question for you. Sure, go ahead. So, I've been reserved about uh, my experience of being homeless and, and, and kind of not taking a traditional route to college, and I've been hesitant to share my story uh, with, with colleagues or peers. Um, it, it, what would you recommend my approach should be uh, about this topic? Well, that's a great question, and thank you for, thank you for asking for my advice. Now, I think the thing we are learning more and more is that the standard route that students have taken in the past to get a four-year degree and then pursue possibly a master's degree is very, very different these days. And every, every story is different. So I encourage you to own your story and to share it. It's a very, you know, it's a very encouraging story. And, and I think that the more students learn uh, that, you know, no matter what obstacles you, you reach or you have to overcome, you can do it. And you certainly are a living example of that. So share that story. It's wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, thank you um, for taking that courageous step forward. Now, let me ask you this. If, if we had a chance to have you stand in front of our Latinx youth, these, you know, middle school students, high school students, what would you say to them? So as a returning student, I, I felt like I had a different perspective than maybe some people coming through the first time. Um, and I would say, you know, think about school as a temporary full-time job. Um, use it to find out what you really like and, and think about it. Well, it's going to increase your career options. This was my perspective going through and I found it to be really beneficial. Last thing I would right, say would be right. learn as much as you can about finances and investments and put potential career directions. Those are just really really important. I, I don't know how to emphasize that anymore. That's great. Great advice. Brian, last question before I let you go. What would you say to someone who has contributed or is thinking about contributing to our Latinos in Technology Scholarship Program? I would say there's many Latinx students experiencing the same thing uh, that I experienced. And I would tell them that they can be a spark and the light at the end of a tunnel that seems like uh, it's just like there is no end. Um, and all we need is a little bit of hope and people uh, like me will make it. You know, I'm one of the many. That's fantastic. Thank you again, Brian, for being with me today. Brian is just one of our 315 Latinos in Technology Scholars. If you have questions that you would like me to ask in future interviews, please leave a note below. See you next time.